Let us try and use the Cauchy principal value to evaluate the improper integral of tangent of x from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. We all know what the graph of tangent x looks like. There is a vertical asymptote for every pi by 2 plus pi n, where n is an integer. But we're only looking for um, the interval negative pi by 2 to pi by 2. So it looks something like that. The graph y equals to tangent x. And we want to know what the area is right here. Obviously, this is going to be an improper integral. So let's break this up into two parts. So firstly, it is going to be uh, the limit. Uh, actually, before we do the limit, uh, let's just write them out. Yeah, so it's negative pi over 2, 0. Right? So let's just find this part first. Tangent of x dx. And then we add that to the integral from 0 to pi by 2 of tangent of x dx. Uh, now, uh, x cannot actually equal to negative pi by 2 or pi by 2. That's why we have variables. Let's call them t for the first one and u for uh, the second one. So the limit as t approaches negative pi by 2 from the right, the improper integral from t to 0, tangent x dx, plus the limit uh, of u approaching pi by 2 from the plus side. Now, I don't have to use u, I could actually use t, but I'm just going to use u. It doesn't matter. You can use any variable you want. These two are independent from each other. So 0 to u, tangent of x, dx. Now I know what the integral of tangent of x is equal to. This is equal to the limit as t approaches negative pi by 2 on the right. The integral of tan x is the natural log, absolute value of secant x. We evaluate that from t to 0. Now this is equal to the limit as t approaches negative pi by 2 on the right. But if we plug in 0, secant of 0 is equal to 1. Natural log of 1 is 0. Okay. And then we minus natural log of secant of x. That can be secant of t. Now secant of t is the same thing as 1 over cosine of t, which is equal to cosine of t uh, to the power of negative 1. Using laws of logarithm or exponents, you can bring this negative down. So you just get the natural log of cosine of t. Absolute value. Um, and t is approaching negative pi by 2 on the positive side. So this right over here, if cosine is approaching negative pi over 2, this right over here, it is going to be negative infinity. Uh, wait, does it? Cosine of t negative pi over 2. Kind of crazy how I have to write this out. Uh, approaches 0, right? Yeah, sorry, it approaches 0 from the positive. Right, negative pi by 2 from the right. So it's approaching 0 plus. So this guy right over here is approaching.
approaching approaching zero plus. So the measure log of uh, plus sine of t, which is approaching zero plus, is going to be negative infinity technically. Okay, so this whole thing is going to boil down to the first part is going to equal to negative infinity. Now, for this guy right over here, we can do the same thing. So we have the natural log, or the limit, is 0 approaching pi by 2 from the negative side. Natural log of secant of x evaluated from 0 to u. This is equal to the limit. So u approaches negative pi by 2 from the negative side. Natural log of absolute value of secant of u. Then natural log of secant of 0. That's just log of 1, which is 0. So if you draw the cosine graph, right over here, this is when x, or u I should say, is pi by 2. This u is approaching pi by 2 from the left. The secant of u, or I should say, um, instead of secant of u, I'm going to use uh, negative long absolute value cosine of u. Okay? So which means that cosine of u, as u approaches pi by 2 from the left, it's approaching, this cosine of u is approaching 0 from the positive side, 0 plus. So which means that this is going to be negative negative infinity, because uh, ln of 0, or as the input approaches 0 from the positive side, it's negative infinity. So you have negative negative infinity, you have positive infinity. So you have a, essentially you have an infinity minus infinity situation. In a normal calculus 2 class, infinity minus infinity is indeterminate, and therefore you cannot draw any conclusion from this answer. Therefore, you will write this answer as this improper integral diverges.